Osgood gets it from Colin McCurdy. That's Pat Byrne playing right wing. Over to Allen Ball, the player coach. This is Brooks Kreider out of Textile University, or Textile College, that is. Headed away. Washington has control of the ball now. Tommy O'Hara out of Glasgow, Scotland. He's fouled. First foul of the game against Philadelphia. And Washington has it. Here comes Tommy O'Hara. He's played in 21 of the 22 games for Washington. Cuss hitting. He's from Holland. Now to Carmine Marcantonio to Ken Mokajo, but he loses it, and Allen Ball is there to knock it away. Jim Steele, who was suspended against Tampa Bay, but because Cannell is out, he is still allowed to play. Coming into midfield, approaching the box now. Chips it in. Waldron loses it, but kicks it aside, and it will be a corner kick as Waldron on a very dangerous play there, Walt. This was a near uh, scoring chance, the reason being that they had some heavy rain here, and uh, the turf is very slippery, and the ball just skidded between his feet and almost created a scoring chance for Washington. The corner went off Pat Burns, so now it's a throw-in. Washington, Tommy O'Hara, looking in the box. Ahead, but it's knocked out by Giles. Hitting a shot, and McRae is there. First shot of the game. Stopped by Keith McRae, coming into the game with a 1.97 goals against average in 16 games. Keith handled that with, with a lot of confidence, and uh, for obvious reasons, I think he's used to this type of a turf playing back home in England. Consequently, when the shot uh, did come about, he handled it as a good shortstop in baseball would. The announcers on this telecast are employees of WPHL-TV and are subject to the approval of the Philadelphia Fury. Just over two minutes into the game, no score. Here's a long ball for Ray Graydon. And it will be a corner kick for Washington as Billy Straub, the former All-American out of the University of Pennsylvania, was there. Ray Graydon had a goal in... Two assists in the first game, one by Washington. First game for the Fury, three to nothing at Vet Stadium. That's over the touchline. It will be a throw-in for Washington. O'Hara getting it into Bobby Stokes. McRae coming out with Mocha Joa breathing down his neck. Tosses it out to Pat Byrne, over to Tony Glavin. Glavin, probably the fastest man on the Fury team. Here he comes, approaching the box, over to Osgood on a give and go to Glavin. And good play by Steele to break it up. But there's a shot by Pierce O'Leary. Oh, a whip by McCurdy. Excellent opportunity for the Fury, and they could not convert. On the counterattack, this is Bobby Stokes going over the right corner. Into the box, McCray, and it's a goal for Boca Joa. Ironic enough again. Let's have a look at this if we can see it on the replay. Annie Mihailovic raced down to the uh, center of the field, served the ball wide, and then it comes into the center of the area by Brooks Schreiter. The ball skids by, and there's a score by Ken Lopajoa. This is his seventh and seven games. And his ninth of the season, Ken Mokajoa, scoring with less than four minutes gone in the game, and it is one to nothing, Diplomats. And the irony, Pete, here is that Seconds prior to that, Fury had a great opportunity to get on board and take the lead, but unfortunately, Colin McCurdy whiffed on the ball six outs out of the goal and did not capitalize. Washington in second place behind the Cosmos in the Eastern Division of the National Conference. Chip shot in the box, approaching the box by Osgood. It's still loose. Osgood comes up with it now. Trying to dribble, and it's knocked aside, and there's a foul on Osgood as he hit Jimmy Steele. During every Fury game, each Fury player who scores a goal receives a free case of Tasty Cake, plus one for the charity of his choice. The same goes for every shutout by a Fury goalie. Tonight's charity is St. Edmund's Home for Crippled Children. I can see the game developing already. The game plan is to go to Ken Joe, and Brooks Spreader is going to have a difficult time if he doesn't get tighter on him. Official time of that goal by Mokajoa, 317. Mihailovic and Graydon on the assists. 
Colin Waldron breaks that play up. Over the touchline, O'Hara running for it. It's a Fury throwing. Pat Byrne. Over to Brooks Kreider. To Byrne. Knocked out by O'Hara. Philadelphia throwing again. Walt, did, uh, did Brooks misplay that ball? He was actually quick ball watching, and because of the surface being so wet, the ball skidded by him so quickly that he didn't have enough time to adjust and deflect the ball out of bounds. That close to the goal, do you play a zone or do you play your man really tight? You must play your man, but also you must see the man and ball at all times. Cuss hitting. Gets it back to Steele. Steele, the biggest player on the field at 6-1. It's a native of Scotland. Played at Southampton, where Peter Osgood he's and Alan Ball played. He's a very strong defender, Pete. Very aggressive, very intimidating player, and he's going to be very difficult to get by. But uh, sometimes on wet surfaces, players of his stature by size, uh, sometimes you can get by them, and Peter Osgood has skills strong enough to do it. Ball knocked out by the Fury. Checked out, it's knocked out by Washington. So it's a Fury throwing. Colin Waldron. To Osgood. Played it off for Ball. To McCurdy, back to Ball. This is Tony Glavin pushing up on the left over the 35 yard line. Now Johnny Giles. Trying to chip it for Pat Byrne, but there's an offside on the play. It's a trap, and Washington will do this. They did it in their first game against Philadelphia in Philadelphia, so Peter Osgood and McCurdy and the Pat Byrne, they must be alerted to the trap because uh, they, Washington does a good job in employing that. Perhaps we could explain the offsides again for those of you who are new viewers. The offsides, especially in this league, is once the ball is crossed the 35-yard line, which is a white line, uh, then... The attacker must be all must have always two defenders in front of them or the ball. Cross in the middle, another good chance. Just knocked away. And it looked like Bobby Stokes would convert another one. They're really getting free in the middle. Well, again, because of the conditions, they're going wide around the corner, serving the ball low and driving it, and it's very difficult to handle the ball there in the box. It's skidded by Billy Straub at this time, and almost a near chance again. Graydon serving it into the box. Oh, dangerous play, but knocked away by Billy Straub. This is Pat Byrne dribbling. He loses it to O'Hara, but O'Hara just knocks it out. It will be Philadelphia ball. We have played eight minutes. And it's a Philadelphia goal kick. One to nothing. Washington leads it. We'll be back after this. Ball kicked out by Philadelphia. So it'll be a throw in for Washington. Brooks Kreider there. Tommy O'Hara throwing it in. That's Cuss hitting. Washington has taken the game over. They're controlling the ball very well and not giving it up as easily, so Fury has to fight a little bit harder to get the ball back. O'Hara to Mocha Joe on a give and go. There's a whistle, and it looks like a foul. Yes, Colin Waldron got caught pushing from behind. It's going to be a direct kick for Washington dips. A direct kick means that uh, Washington can score. Yes, they can score directly without making any other, any other pass. Fury setting up a wall. So McCray will have just the far corner to worry about. A shot, and McCray is there to get it off the foot of Saki Viteskic, a Yugoslavian midfielder. That was well done by Keith McCray. It was actually deflected by a defender, and he reacted well enough to, to save it. You notice, I think, uh, a lot of sloppy passes tonight just because of the playing conditions. Here comes McCurdy getting away, and a sliding stop. This is uh, Jimmy Steele doing a good sliding tackle, and he's back home on this kind of a surface. He loves uh, this wet grass, and he's going to apply those slide tackles sometimes six feet before uh, touching the ball. Mocha Joa, out of South Africa. He was the 1977 Player of the Year in South Africa, and he is doing a tremendous job for the Dips lately. He came in the first game at Philadelphia and scored a goal as a substitute. Foul on the play on Carmen 
Mark Antonio, born in Italy, now a Canadian citizen. Playing Mark, midfield for Washington. Mark Antonio got caught uh, clipping from behind there, off the ball, and there was a good reaction on the part of the referee. He was able to see it. There you can see Mark Antonio doing a little bit of clipping and shoving. Set in by Pierce O'Leary. McCurdy trying to go up for the ball, but Bill Irwin came out. Pat Byrne takes it off the head of Hitting. Byrne to Allen Ball. Ball looking for Byrne, coming in the box. A center off ahead. It's still in the air. Osgood gets a piece of it. It's now on the ground. And it's headed. O'Hara keeps it in play. Pat Byrne going into the corner for it. He turns and tries to center the ball, but it's a goal kick for Washington. 33 minutes left to go in the first half. Washington won. Fury nothing. We'll be back after this. Immediately to ABC's Wide World of Sports over these ABC stations. Wide World of Sports immediately following the resolution of the soccer game. Tommy O'Hara.